So, you've been quarantined. Or maybe you're practicing self-imposed social distancing, and that's a good idea. It's your first day as a stay-at-home artist, and you're ready to take over the internet. So, here I am, I'm awake, got my coffee, and I'm ready to take my career onto the internet. But, something does feel off here. And, I think I know what it is. Guys, that's the first lesson. Get off your fucking pajamas. While pajamas are great and cozy and warm and fluffy, they don't really help you get into that I'm ready for business mentality. So, lesson number one, get off your fucking pajamas. Changing clothes at the beginning of your day might feel silly when you're working from home, but it will really help you start off your day with the right energy. It's, it's a mindset thing. It's like telling your brain, you know, we're awake, we had our breakfast, we took a shower, and now it's time for business. No more fucking around. Finding some sort of daily routine to tackle this next weeks of working at home is your first step. The mindset change is very challenging and crucial and it might take some time to adjust to especially if you don't have any working from home experience while working from a studio or an office we might just roll off bed drink some coffee eat something and wait that our daily commute will make us feel awake and ready to tackle the day but guess what you don't have a daily commute anymore so it's important to use this time to get your mind from I just woke up to I'm ready for business. What's been working for me is starting the morning off with a daily ritual, a specific list of tasks performed in a specific order to get me in the right mindset to tackle my day. It goes a little bit like this. I wake up at 7.30, snooze till 8. By 8, I'm awoke. I get off, I stretch a little bit. Then I drag my sweet ass to the kitchen and make myself some coffee. After that, I take a shower, and by 8.50, I'm sitting on my desk, going over the tasks that I'm gonna be needing to start doing by nine, the official start of the business day. What's important to note is that each step of this routine plays a crucial role into changing my mindset and make me ready to tackle the day. It slowly makes my body aware that the business day has started. But number two, get a schedule. One of the main challenges of working from home is staying focused. I am super easily distracted. So I need a schedule to tell me what I should be doing at any given point of the day. With that in mind, I run my day on a very tight schedule. It tells me exactly on what project I should be working, when are my coffee breaks, when is my lunch break, and even when I should take my afternoon run. It goes a little bit like this. 9 a.m. I start working on project A, for which I work in two hours. By 11, I take a coffee break to kind of like clean my mind, and by 11.15, I'm working on project B, which I work until like one in the afternoon when I take a little lunch break, cook myself something, chill, make some Netflix. But by two o'clock, I'm ready to start working on project B. I work for there for another two hours, and at four, I go out for my afternoon run. After an hour of running, I get back and work on project B for two hours, which makes me around six o'clock be ready. From 6 to 6.45, I juggle a little bit any leftover tasks from project A, B, and C and answer the last emails that I need for the following day. Then at 6.45, I go over the tasks for the following day and by 7 o'clock, Dobby is a free elf. Number three, get a dedicated workspace. For more successful results when working from home, take the first day off to kind of plan what working from home would look like. Take some time to separate your tasks and your project and find a place where you're going to be actually doing this work. Creating a dedicated workspace is going to really help you get into that working mentality. Try working from a proper table and avoid the temptation of getting work done from the couch because, let's be honest, you're not going to get any work done on the couch. And if you don't have a dedicated workspace or a dedicated table that you can use just for working over the next couple of weeks, clean that table before you start working. If you're working from the kitchen table, 
clean the breakfast before you start so you can avoid unnecessary distractions. These are my initial ideas on how to get into the right mentality when working from home. I know that some of these topics might need adjusting for your specific case, so let me know. I want to know how all of you are coping with maintaining your creative career while working from home. So if you have any stories you would like to share, please do so and I would love to hear your feedback. Sam, if you're feeling funny, do your own transformation video from crappy pajamas into successful business person. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Stay healthy, stay safe, and just wash your goddamn hands. See you tomorrow.